Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use certain uh, triggers with Triggerfire and how to install Triggerfire to your OBS Studio. Um, with Triggerfire you can actually make it happen that your Triggerfire shows you alerts like this. Hello? And it actually oh, plays a whole video. So, <laughs> so your your um people actually can embarrass me during my streams and play that movie and it actually shows you can actually trigger them uh via a website and a little program, via a little plugin. So I'm gonna ch change to this view. And I'm going to now guide you step by step on how to do that. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to go to um, the Triggerfire Spaghetti Central uh, Discord. And the first thing that you need to do is you have to go to rules. Uh, the link is in the description below for the Triggerfire uh, Discord. But you need to go to uh, rules. Then at the bottom there is like an accept uh, to all the rules in the Discord. You have to accept them, of course. After that, you will go to dump, and you this like this little part, the trigger fire. If you don't know how to spell it, you can just copy paste it. You have to copy paste it in this chat, and then a few seconds later, the bot will actually tell you that you that you have the channel header and stuff. After that, what you can do is go into Trigger Fire Beta. And then if you scroll all the way up and then like a slight bit down, you see the Palakis OBS WebSocket. You click on that and then you will go to a website, which I have already opened for you. And I will do it like this. So I can actually see what I'm doing on screen also. If it is actually working, it is working. So you want to go to this website and then a little bit down you see a couple of um a couple of compatible uh downloads and for what I done and because I'm using Windows I downloaded the installer.x and the Windows zip file. Uh the installer.x is just a next 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 thing. You just install it, uh make sure to close all other applications in order to uh, install it and before you install it. Once you have done this, uh, you open up the exe file. I'm gonna be shirking this away for a second again and get the exe file. This exe file actually is, um, you have to like copy paste this all in your OBS studio folder, which I'm actually gonna be going to now. So you go to your program files, uh, let's see, you're, you're not seeing this because yeah, there's also some personal stuff, like personal information in there that I don't want everyone to see. Uh, so you go to this folder, uh, C, program files, OBS studio, and then you paste it in here. However, what I've also done to make sure that it works is go to the, go to this folder and then do the same in here because it can make you skip a couple of stuff and then copy this over into this folder and then do the same with the 64 bit version also copy it over so that is that then you've done all of that and you actually made it so that you copy pasted it all in the folders um and then you can actually close all this all this crap off and then you go into your OBS studios which um will now say you open it up and it will now say that you have an o OBS WebSocket setting so uh let's see if this is it yeah you it is always port 4444 and you can actually enable a password or not, depending on what you uh, prefer. I have enabled the password just to be safe, but you can also decide not to do it. Um, 
Once you've set up on the password, you go back to a website, which I will also link in the description below, which is the Trigger Fire website. All you have to do is log in with your Twitch and it will automatically connect you or not, depending on if you set it to automatic. And then you will come into this, this little screen. It is now loading. And it says like this stuff on the on the top and like these are the videos that I've added. So what you want to do for this is you want to go to your settings. You want to um, make a um, let, let's first do the other thing before I do this actually. So you want to go to OBS and here you see lo local local host and your passwords they have to be the same as the little window that i just uh, showed you and then you just have to press uh, like connect but for you it will still say that it's not connected because you still have to do the other thing then you go to settings you can copy this link uh, just by pressing copy link now the next thing that you do is you go to this whole thing and then you make a new browser and then it will give you of course this and you will copy and paste the browser link in here uh, what I've done is I've actually uh, reset the settings to 1920 uh, 180p so it's actually HD size instead of um, being just a block and once you've done that you can uh, like refresh a few times and then press on OK so it's really that is why it wasn't uh, working the other time because I actually have to set it like this so it overlays um the next thing you do is you go back to the website again and then you go to uh, either video sounds or images uh, whatever then you press on plus you'll get this whole uh section then with command name you type in the same exactly the same uh, name as you have for, have for your channel redeem then you press on this and you copy paste it in again then with select video you can actually uh, choose a video that you already uploaded or you can upload and then you can search for the video on your um, on your computer and upload it it has to be a maximum of 20 MBs so it has to be smaller than 20 MBs in order to uh, capture once you've done all that then there's one last thing you need to do and that is going to your um, go to twitch and to your uh, let me actually go there for a quick split second I will do this off of screen because again personal information um, <clears throat> This might take a second because um, loading times and stuff like that, it has to load all in. Uh, you go to uh, adapt your channel, like the little button under your video when you uh, go to your own channel, where you can actually go to all your server settings. Before I actually show it, I'm uh, checking if I have any personal information there. Because yeah. We don't want personal information to be on the internet. Um, let's see. Channel points. All right. Yeah, there's no personal information here. So what you can do is um, you go to channel points, uh, rewards for viewers. This is all in Dutch because I'm Dutch. But this has channel points and then um, rewards for your viewers, uh, like adapt them. Then you go in there. 
And then what you do is you make a new you make a new uh, redeem. You give the same name here as you did on the trigger fire website. Here you can add it in the description and all that stuff you probably already know. And then you say make. Then you go back to your browser source and you refresh it a couple of times again. And that should be it. Then you should be done. So yeah, like I said, I will um, I will link all the uh, all these websites in the description below. I hope you like this explanation, and I hope you enjoy using Triggerfire, and have a good time with streaming and make your viewers happy. Thank you again. See you all next time on the next video and. Have a good night or a good day or a good evening. Bye bye.